హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీ అకాడమీ సి ఫర్ ఈ సెట్ ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దట్స్ వై వీ ఆర్ గివింగ్ ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ ఓకే సో లెట్ సీ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సర్క్యూట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఫస్ట్ ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ the resistance of a copper wire is r ohms the wire is stretched to its double length the new resistance is okay so we have given the options okay so remember question you have to study only you have to read the question only one time okay so resistance formula what is the resistance formula r equal to rho l divided by a what they have given a wire is there which is a copper wire okay so generally resistance means copper wire or aluminum wire only we will consider okay so length okay so what is the length okay so whatever be the length of this wire that is nothing but length what is the area so this is nothing but if this is the wire okay whatever you are seeing that is nothing but area of cross section okay and what is the resistivity of this material means rho okay so that is nothing but material property okay what they have given length of okay so length of this wire is stretched to double okay so whenever length is doubling whenever length is doubling resistance also will becomes double because r is directly proportional to l means length doubles means resistance also doubles understanding right remaining all not changing okay for example area is doubling for example okay so area is double means 2a then resistance will becomes half like that okay so length is doubling means automatically resistance will becomes double 2r will be the answer for this question okay next question the maximum power transfer power that can be transferred to the load rl connected across the terminals of voltage source of v equal to 10 volt and internal resistance of 100 ohms is okay see statement they have given they have not mentioned any of the circuit okay so here we have to draw the circuit then it is very simple okay so what they have given voltage source in series with resistance we have this is the voltage source value of 10 volt you see 10 volt and 100 ohms of resistance they have given in series okay this is a 100 ohms okay so between the terminals a and b some terminals it is load terminals okay understanding right so now what they have given maximum power transfer we have to calculate what is the maximum power transfer means see what is the theorem maximum power transfer theorem we have how much resistance we have to connect here to get the maximum across this resistance okay so whatever resistance you have to connect here that resistance value load resistance we will call that must be equal to source resistance okay source resistance or internal resistance we can consider okay load resistance must be equal to internal resistance so this resistance value will be 100 ohms okay this is one previous bit okay in this question they are not asking about the resistance value but directly they can ask what is the value of resistance means load resistance must be equal to source resistance that is the answer okay so now what they are asking what is the maximum power transfer to this that's what they are asking okay so directly you can check the power in this one calculate the current voltage into current if you calculate otherwise i square into r if you calculate you will get the power otherwise directly formula okay so p max maximum power transfer across the load is nothing but v square okay so vth square divided by 4RTH, okay, so V is nothing but this V, okay, this is nothing but Thevenin's voltage, whenever Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance are connected, okay, so directly VTH, RTH, these values we can use, okay, so what is the VTH value, 10 square means 100 divided by 4 into, what is RL value or RTH value, that is 100, okay, so 100 divided by 4 into 100, you will get 1 by 4 watts, 1 by 4 watts means 0.25 okay so 0.25 watts answer 4 for this question okay and the next question is a voltage source 20 volt internal resistance of 5 ohms is connected in parallel with another voltage source of 10 volt with internal resistance of 10 ohms the thevenin's voltage across the combination is okay so the statement they are giving okay so not the circuit in all the e-set or any type of exams most probably the statements only will be there okay directly circuits they will not be mentioning okay so what you have to do is in the circuit subject whenever you see the see the statement okay you have to first give the circuit then it will be easy to understand okay first what they have given a voltage source of 20 volt internal resistance is 5 ohms okay voltage source of 20 volts where is the internal resistance we have to connect in series or parallel 
for any voltage source always its internal resistance will be connected in series with this one okay otherwise for easy analysis i am drawing here okay so this is 5 ohms of resistance this is one complete voltage source or one complete generator we can understand okay otherwise one more thing okay you see another voltage source of 10 volt with internal resistance of 10 ohms connected in parallel they have mentioned okay so another voltage source of value 10 volt with internal resistance of 10 ohms is connected in the in parallel to this okay so in parallel to this one they are asking what is the equivalent voltage between these two terminals that is nothing but thevenin's equivalent voltage you see the thevenin's voltage of the combination is for this combination what is the thevenin's voltage vth they are asking otherwise open circuit voltage we can call okay open circuit voltage between these two terminals understanding right this we can do in different methods okay so may not be in one method so we will solve with using different methods first okay see one thing we can choose this one as the reference node 0 volts and i will choose this one as the vth directly because from here to here what is the voltage vth okay from here to here voltage is vth because from here to here we want the voltage vth so i am giving directly this one as vth understanding right so that means directly with you only one step we can get the answer okay so let's write the kvl equation otherwise nodal equation okay so nodal equation means vth minus 20 minus 0 divided by 5 that's it plus okay so vth minus 20 minus 0 divided by 5 in this side it is completed now in this side okay so plus vth minus 10 minus 0 vth minus 10 minus 0 divided by 10 is equals to 0 y equals to 0 algebraic sum of the currents at a node or junction is equals to 0 okay so that is the kcl right okay so nodal analysis is the based on kcl only okay so anyway if you simplify this this one directly we will get the vth that is the answer okay let's simplify vth by 5 okay so i am writing vth by 5 minus 20 by 5 is 4 plus vth by 10 minus 1 is equals to 0 this 5 will go to other side okay so let's calculate here so this is vth by 5 means 2 vth by 10 we can write down right okay so 2 vth by 10 plus vth by 10 total it is 3 vth by 10 is equals to 4 plus 1 total it is 5 that side okay so 3 vth by 10 equal to 5 means 10 into 5 is 50 divided by 3 okay so vth equal to 50 divided by Volts, okay so this is the answer okay option 2 is correct okay so why i have to solve using this method okay i will solve in different method okay so let's see how you can get in the another method also okay so why i have to do using nodal analysis i will solve in a different method okay i want to choose this one okay so what we know voltage source in series with resistance we can transform as current source in parallel with the same resistance understanding right voltage source in series with resistance so we can transform as current source in parallel with same resistance okay so first this one we can transform as a current source see plus is on the top right so current direction to towards the top okay so what is the value of current source 20 divided by 5 20 divided by 5 means 4 amperes with the internal resistance of 5 ohms same okay same resistance we have to use similarly this one also we can transform okay so current source of value upwards same like that 10 divided by 10 is nothing but 1 ampere and 10 ohms will be there like that okay so this is 1 ampere and similarly 10 ohms of resistance will be there same terminals okay so between these two terminals only you will be having okay so like this okay so now these two are there okay so 4 amperes and 1 ampere both will be there right both are connected in parallel both are upwards we can add these two and we can get as 5 amperes and 4 in parallel with oh, not 4 5 in parallel with 10 okay so you will get the equivalent so that will be equal to 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10 okay so 5 into 10 means 50 divided by 15 okay so 50 divided by 15 means directly we can write down so 5 3 is okay so 5 tens okay so 10 divided by 3 we can write down okay so this is the between a terminal and b terminal now we can directly check what is the voltage 5 amperes will go like this and same in this 5 amperes only will go in this one so what is the voltage current is nothing but 5 amperes 5 into resistance okay what is the voltage between these two means 
current into resistance 50 into 10 by 3 is nothing but 50 by 3 again you will get the same otherwise you can get one more okay current source in parallel with resistance we can transform as same voltage source in series with same resistance okay voltage source in series with same resistance we can transform that means current source value is 5 amperes if you take the voltage source value 5 into 10 by 3 that is nothing but 50 by 3 amp volts of voltage source in series with resistance 10 by 3 ohms okay so like this we can find out and if you check the voltage between these two terminals that is directly 50 by 3 old cities okay so same answer you will get understanding right see in this one not only this thevenin's voltage okay not only thevenin's voltage we can understand this is the thevenin's resistance this is thevenin's resistance okay so if they ask rth we can directly calculate this one okay so this is vth so this is norton equivalent understanding right norton equivalent current source in parallel with resistance between the terminals this is the big network we have transformed this big network into a small network which is having a single current source in parallel with resistance so it is nothing but a norton equivalent okay so and similarly this is nothing but thevenin's this complete network is nothing but thevenin's equivalent network okay so voltage source in series with resistance we have given so it is nothing but thevenin's okay thevenin's network see from one question only how many more we just understood okay so anyway answer for this question is 50 by 3 okay and the next question is the power consumed by an immersion heater on 230 volt 50 hertz single phase is 2.3 kilo kilowatts okay so then the resistance is okay so directly they were asking immersion heater means it is directly a resistance load okay heater means directly we can consider a pure resistive load okay heater is nothing but a pure resistive load okay so pure resistive load okay so nothing to do in this question actually but just uh, we can use directly formula no need to consider all this uh, this is resistive load so we have to use this uh, uh, formula not like that okay so pure resistive load heater means okay so for any resistance wherever current enters that is plus wherever current leaves that is a minus okay so current and you will get the voltage v whether that is uh, ac or dc initially we can consider like this for the ac okay otherwise for dc directly we can consider the power in the resistor we can consider as voltage into current otherwise v square by r we can write down otherwise we can write down as i square into r now what they are giving so they have given this voltage and resistance they are asking okay so voltage they have given and similarly power also they have given okay so power is nothing but 2.3 kilowatts otherwise you can write down as 2300 watts okay so kilo means 10 power 3 okay so this is the power they have given and voltage they have given as 230 volts okay 230 volts they have given so directly so power is nothing but voltage square divided by resistance they have asked this resistance only okay so resistance from this one you can write down resistance equal to v square by p okay so v square is nothing but voltage they have given as 230 volt square divided by p is nothing but 2300 i will use okay so 2300 okay so just directly calculate 230 into 230 divided by 2300 okay so 00, 0 cancel 00, 0 cancel 2323 will be cancelled so r value so r is nothing but 23 ohms okay so if resistance value if immersion heater resistance value is 23 then only you can get this much of power okay so power in that one otherwise you will get the different answer okay so that's why answer for this question is 23 ohms okay so in the exam what you have to do is no need to do all these okay so directly is so, okay resistance they are asking power they have given voltage they have given resistance they are asking so we know one thing p equal to v square by r that's it okay substitute here 2300 so here it is 230 into 230 so divided by r directly we will get r equal to 23 so in the exam directly within 10 or 15 seconds we have to do this model of question okay